everyone, it's Laura on Multiple Pilates. Welcome to day five of the Top to Toe series. Um, so I'm gonna do the outer and inner legs today, the abductors and adductors. Um, it's gonna be a tough one. So we're gonna strengthen the outer legs and the inner legs. Um, and then we're gonna release them with the foam roller as well. So make sure you've got your roller handy. Um, and I'll show you the homework exercise. Hope you've all been doing it. And then we're gonna do um, couple of uh, nutrition tips as well at the end. Okay, so I make sure you've got some water and then if you want to be um, to step up a notch today make sure you, you've got your loop band handy or a TheraBand, you can use a TheraBand as well and um, one of the longer thicker ones which you've seen me use in my other videos um, to, <clears throat> to put around the legs. Okay, enjoy! Right, so first of all um, we're just going to get straight down onto the floor, lying on your side, straight legs, the waist in, don't rock too far forward or too far back, make sure your neck's nice and comfortable in one straight line. Okay, I'm there for support, if you need a pillow for your head, put it down, right toes facing forward, you're going to reach up and down, inhale up, exhale down, eight more, Six. four, three, two, one, now hold at the top, okay, so you're going to pulse it now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and flex the foot, okay, and then point and flex, and point and flex, pull the leg out of the hip, make be sure you're elongating it, five, four, Three, two, one. Okay, you're gonna do circles forward for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Boom, done, good. Okay, then the knees slowly come up. Bring your feet down to the front. Inhale up and exhale, reach forward, pull the toes towards your body, deep breath in, and to exhale, inhale and exhale, okay, let's do the other side, okay now this time we're going to do the same, if you want to up the tension with this exercise at any point, put your band on, okay, you can still do it with the band around your legs. I'll demonstrate. Okay, this is quite a loose one but you can get different strengths. If you just put it around your calves, you can put it around your thighs as well but for today we're just putting it around our calves. Okay, so get into your position, make sure your hips are nice and set, you're comfortable. Inhale up, exhale down. Seven more, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it at the top, flex your feet if you need to, and you're going to pulse ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, good, point and flex that foot to release any tension if you've got it. So this would be more of an advanced move with the band. Don't worry if you've not got a band and if you're not doing it, you don't have to remember it's progression. Okay, circles forward. 10, nine, eight, slow and steady. Six, five, four, three, two, one, ooh, yeah, 
So that's really working out the size of here. Right, bend the knees in, come up to sitting again, inhale up and exhale, reach forward, don't worry if you can't touch your toes, your aim is over time. Okay, right, I'm going to do the inner thighs now, so turn around. Fingers facing forward, straight back, extend the leg out. Rotate, so externally rotate the foot out to the side. As if you've got Mary Poppins feet, yeah? Okay, you're going to inhale the leg up, hold it in line with the other leg and exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. So we're working the inner thighs. Two. Hold at the top and pulse. Five, four, three, two, one. Bend the knees, okay. Inhale, head back, exhale forward. And exhale. Other leg, extend it out. Check your position. Rotate the foot. Inhale up, exhale down. Imagine you're wading through mud, so nice and slow and controlled. Four, three, two, and one. Hold it there, guys, and pulse. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Tuck the knees in, straighten the back, inhale, exhale, round the head down, inhale up, and exhale down. So there's a couple of variations to work the outer and inner thighs, which has just taken a few minutes to do, really. Dead easy, so you can fit this into your routine anytime, and don't forget if you want to make it harder, put the bands round as well. So your homework is going to be that stretch that I showed you. So sitting up straight, hands by your side to begin with, deep breath in, expand laterally, okay, so the diaphragm opens out, and you exhale and you reach forward. So your aim is to try and reach for the toes, excuse my feet, in. <laughs> inhale, and exhale, reach forward. Inhale, and exhale, breathe into it. And just keep going like that. And every now and again, come back to your certain position. Inhale, exhale, arms up, reach forward, reaching over the toes as far as you can. Inhale, and then exhale. Don't forget when you exhale, the move becomes more effective and more flowing. And really polite, it should be flowing but it takes time, okay? And don't worry if you can only come to your knees or your calves, it doesn't matter. You're still stretching, you're getting a nice stretch up the back, way up the back of the legs, side of the legs and into the back. Right, now to do the, uh, right, you might want to drink this because this is going to be a tough one. So, again, This is going to work the IT band to so the outer thigh, so releasing any tightness or any knots in this area all the way down the side of the legs. So if you've never done this before, you've been warned, <laughs> but bear with it. Um, and if you have got a lot of pain, it's good pain and it will get better. So you're just going to pull yourself onto the roller. I'm sure you've probably all seen this before. And there's a couple of ways of doing it. Depends where your pain is, so sort of find what area of in is it in, the, in, in one of the glute muscles or is it down the side, round the IT band down the side of the leg? Okay, so I'm gonna shimmy mine down. And you wanna sort of rest on your forearm a bit. So I'm just gonna pull myself, using my shoulder stability. Now watch your position here, because a lot of people will end up with referral pain because they're just pulling themselves all over the place. 
So make sure you still think about your posture. Shoulder back, this should be quite elegant still. So I'm gonna pull up, two, three, and down, two, three. Think about that leg, reach away. Inhale up, and exhale. Inhale up, and exhale. That's it, inhale up. And exhale, you'd have to do floaty arms like mine, and keep them like that, but it just helps to keep them nice and relaxed. Okay, that's all you have to do, roll right up. So it's quite sore, tender in there for me, but for me, it's really just above the knee in that area, okay? So I wanna really roll into that and tease out any tension, any knots in that area, and tightness, okay? So just go for it. You only need to do a minute a day. Don't overdo it. Some people feel quite sick when they do this, it's quite normal. Yeah. If you're getting a lot of pain, it just means you really need to do this. Okay. And then, I'm going to do the other side. That's it, good. Okay, so we're going to deep into that area there. So we'll go up, two, three. Yeah, that's it, good. So hopefully, you're doing this at home and you're all cursing me. In my classes, we have right left in this. You know who you are at home. Okay, two more. One. Good work guys, well done. Right. Okay, okay, so. Homework we've done. Nutrition. So, I think today's top tips would be around um, healthy fats and unhealthy fats. So, there's a lot of conflict and information around at the minute, people doing these um, high fat, low carb diets, it's all relative, it, it, it is what it is, but basically what you want to do is get a balance between good fats and bad fats. So your good fats are um, the, un, or the unsaturated fats and the bad fats are the saturated fats. So saturated fats is the gloopy, plaque, sticky white fat that you see on animal like meat. That's what sticks to your arteries in the heart and the arteries are responsible for pumping blood, oxygenated blood around the body. So obviously if you've got too much sticky white fat in your blood in your heart, then obviously you're going to be at risk of a stroke or a heart attack. So we recommend getting that balance between the good and the bad fats. So saturated fats would be things like um, your biscuits, cakes, crisps, yeah, butter, um, full fat, everything really, everything that's derived from animal products um, and then the good fats are things like your um, mixed natural nuts, seeds, the oily fish like salmon, mackerel, pilchard, sardines um, and uh, yeah like the, the flax seeds and avocado, yeah coconut oils like Rapeseed vegetable oil, sunflower, sunflower oil, more, more than vegetable, rapeseed oil, yeah, coconut oil, so everything in moderation. But the guidance says, and I'm going to put on, on the YouTube channel now, the, the, we recommend for over 16s and above, um, it's 20 grams of saturated fat a day max, okay, which isn't a lot. Um, so the average adult needs about 70 grams total fat a day, 20 grams saturated. So hope that makes sense and you'll see on your screen now a little um, red amber green card for you. So what we want is you, we want to try and recommend having less than under, at least under between 1.5 and 5 grams of um, fat a day. Okay, so just have a little read of this. If you've got any questions, you're not sure, give me a shout. 
but basically it equates to about a third of your intake a day. So it 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 is it's just about having that variety of fats. I mean, I like butter, so I have butter, but I don't have loads of it. So you, you should really have more than probably two, three spoons, teaspoons of butter a day as well. Okay. Um, and as I always say, it's everything in moderation. Okay, so just enjoy, eat healthy, and if you keep exercising and do things like this, Pilates every day, um, you're going to keep fit and healthy. Okay, so just uh, don't forget to try some of the other um, moves out, do the homework exercises, and share the vids, subscribe. It's all free, okay? And hopefully, I'll see you in my classes. And when we come out of this, have a great day. Bye.